thing. And, whoa. All right, that's the first way I extracted it, right? But flip it over. That's an eagle, baby. All right, well, let's see what we can do here today. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. I don't know how long I'm gonna last today. It is uh, early in the morning. It's already over 90 degrees. It's gonna be about 100. The mosquitoes are wild. And if you think you hear Sasquatch, it is not. The guy in the next lot has been clearing wood. So I'm at the site across from the river, visit number five. And while I'm out here filming, a lot of times I have to stop while he's ripping at the chainsaw. So I'm gonna detect for a little bit. Might be a quick video, might not be. But either way, let's dig. There's a signal to start with. So yeah, with the heat, me personally, I love it. I will take 100 degrees over a cold day any day. But you can only stay out here, or you can only last out here as long as the fluid you brought lasts. That is interesting. And to recap, if you missed all the videos, I am across from the mill sites. Somebody was living up here in the 1800s. And everything I've found so far, with the, with the exception of the ammunition and a weedy, has been 1800s. That's a rivet, believe it or not. And that is wood. I thought it was just a nail, but it is pressed on both ends. Interesting. casing. Uh, melted lead, I thought we were going to have a bale seal or the first button. I still have not found a button here. Oh, melted stuff again. So our structure was up there. And I'm working the little hillside off here by the river. Just so you know. Piece of a thing. Oh, finally, a good thing. And, whoa, this is not only really different, but it's beautiful. Wait till you see this. All right, that's the first way I extracted it, right? Look at the pins. Reminds me of like what would go inside a shoe buckle, but flip it over. That's an eagle, baby. With cannons. I have never ever seen one of these before. Wow. So it's beautiful, right? Eagle, cannons. I get it home here, flip it over. There's a patent date on the back. But it says 1886. I'm like, oh, it's not a Civil War item. Wrong. It is. This is a GAR, Grand Army of the Republic, Grand Army badge. This was given out to veterans in 1886. It had a little cloth flag, I don't know, maybe an inch, inch and a quarter hanging, and then a big star at the bottom. 
which I'm hoping and guessing is on that piece of property. And the other remarkable thing about this, supposedly it's made from captured cannon metal. Whoa, right? So taking my time working that site is gonna pay off. It is paying off. All right, back out to the woods so you can see what else I don't find. But before I go, just one last thought, context. What an amazing piece of history this is going to be to put in the town museum. Not sure if we can figure out who it belonged to, but either way, it's going to be where it should be. Well, that is gorgeous. I'm starting to worry about this side or wonder. You'd figure from where the structure was down to the river, people would be more likely to be over here. But it's been all melted stuff and ammo, as you've seen. Except for this. Fantastic. Two feet of chain. So I've decided to stay on course with this side today, even though, you know, aside from the Civil War era find, there hasn't been much, but I just think I should keep working it. Uh, you can see the river down there. It's maybe a hundred feet between the structure and the river. It's not very far, but I don't know. I just think it's good to really work an area. Twenty two slug. Oh, well, that's a piece of a thing. No doubt about that. Lead ball. Another casing. That is weak. piece of thing. Oh, cool. Very cool. And no less than seven inches deep. It is the joint of a measuring stick. So that's awesome. Always like finding these. Nice heavy brass. Beautiful. Brass tack. Might have been off a saddle. Some type of leather work. Sometimes you'll find them with stars on them. Maybe other things, but I've only ever seen stars. So. You can hear the guy up there cutting wood. Uh, it's actually what's pushed me into doing the way I'm doing this today, which is I'm trying to stay on this side of the hill to avoid the racket for filming purposes. And uh, it's good. It's making me really work this small section. 
which it, you know it needs to be done anyways like I said but sometimes we all have the tendency to start moving around really quick when we're not hearing or finding much wow a washer six inches deep probably just as old as everything else Well, that's it, everybody. Believe it or not, it took two hours to do what I did. I'm all out of fluid. Half a gallon went quick on a day like today, but I just worked this small section. A uh, lot of targets. One amazing target. And uh, I had a feeling it'd be a short one. I didn't think that guy would still be up here cutting wood, but looks like he's got a big thing going on and it is what it is. I'll be back here again soon. Hopefully it cools down and he gets finished. All right, go out, take your time, just dig everything, and enjoy your not Thursday.